Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is another video in my series that shows a beginner's perspective to getting into FPV flying with these FPV quad racers. If you watch my other videos, you'll see that I originally set this up. I did my maiden flight, but I didn't talk about my FPV setup and equipment. What I have is the Ishin EV800 goggles and I change the antenna and put in another one of these DYS mushroom antennas. Now these goggles, um, based on reviews, there are a lot of reviews online and things about this. This is the updated version with the, um, the foam and there's also um, the EV input here as well. These goggles are fairly reasonable, 80 US dollars, and as I mentioned before, while there are a lot of better goggles out there, I need to, um, to spend my money wisely because I live in Trinidad and the cost for buying stuff online and shipping into Trinidad is very high. Sometimes I have to pay close to 50% in taxes and also to pay shipping to get my stuff from the courier service that I have in Miami to Trinidad so I need to to spend wisely while I really um, I would really like to have a, um, a pair of fat shot goggles to try out this is what my budget allows at the point in time so this goggles it, it worked fairly okay so far these are the only goggles I ever owned to use so I have nothing to compare to there's no DVR on this though and while I wanted to record my flight I wasn't able to do that with this. I ordered an 808 keychain camera to, to put on this because I didn't want to put my expensive action cam when I'm now learning to fly in case I crash and damage it. So I ordered an 808 keychain camera, still waiting on it over a month now. That's probably the price I pay for ordering on eBay, shipping from China to Trinidad. What are you going to do? So, moving on. Let me give you a, a basic rundown because I wasn't able to record my first FPV experience which I really wanted to do. I fly alone so I didn't have anybody to hold the camera for me and because I have these goggles I can have the action cam on my head and I'm still waiting on my camera to put on the quad. I'll just basically give you a little idea of what transferred. First experience, power this on with the goggles. The channel, when I use the search button to search for the, um, the signal from the um, VTX, it automatically went to the full signal it got. But that signal wasn't the best signal, it wasn't the strongest signal. And as soon as you step away from it, it starts to break up. So what I did, I used the, um, the channel buttons and I went up and down a channel until I get a really clear strong signal that worked really well. The other um, thing I realized the first time I was flying this with FPV was that this camera angle, it was much higher. The angle was steeper, pointing higher up. And as a beginner, trying to fly, it was very difficult. I didn't. I didn't know exactly where I was, which direction I was going, I needed to go fast forward in order to see what was happening and basically I wasn't able to do it and I crashed. When I crashed and I took over the goggles, I had to go look for the quad. I had a general idea which direction I was in but I didn't know where it was and I was searching around and because I fly by myself, I didn't have a spotter. To tell me where the quad went down. I would strongly recommend getting a lost quad beeper to put in. I am planning to order one as well now based on that experience since I fly alone a lot. So that was one of the things that, that happened in the first um, flight. I then adjusted the camera and brought it down to the way you've seen it here. Once I did that and I adjusted the um, Once I adjusted the camera angle, 
and brought it down, I started to fly once more. This time, much better. I was in the air for about a minute or two, hovering, moving forward, trying to do a little forward and back turning around. When I turned in the direction of the sun, this is a CMOS camera, everything went black. When everything went black, I crashed again. This time, a little more um, serious, the crash. The crash was a little more serious. This plate came off and I bent one of the propellers. Luckily, I found this back and I swapped out the propellers. Based on that experience, which I was expecting, I already ordered this GoPro lens to put on the camera. Now, this GoPro lens is really, based on what I saw of it, this really works with the Foxair HS LM77 camera, the normal camera that everybody has. But before I order that camera, I decided I'll order the lens first and try the lens on the stock camera and see how it works. If there's a difference, if it, if it can um, work with this camera and, and if I get any improvements. If not, I'll just have to order the HS1177 camera. So I'm going to change the lens and, and try to focus it. And then I'll go back into the um, park and, and try again to see if I can fly, if it's much better than what it used to be. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for our next video.